Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today in this video I'm going to check the Smoke's 2006 Plus Motors by RC in Power. First I'm going to quickly go over the specs and then I'm going to measure the thrust using my Moto Thrust Stand and head outdoors and test them out. The Smoke's 2306 Plus Motors are available in 3 kV options. 1880 kV which can handle up to 6S batteries and 2280 and 2580 kV which both can handle up to 5S batteries. In addition, these very appealing motors are available in few colors and the version that I have is called Gunmetal. As expected from RC in Power, which is a well-known and probably one of the best brushless motors manufacturer in the racing drone industry, the quality of these motors is great. The weight of the motor, including its 15 cm long 20 gauge silicon wires is 37 grams. The motor bell is of course secured using an M3 screw and after removing it and also a struggle that left some marks, here you can see how the motor looks from the inside. Now you might notice that something looks different. In the center of the motor bell of the smokes you can find this bearing which is normally found on the center of the stator and this is a very interesting design which also makes it really hard to separate the stator from the motor bell. In addition, the diameter of the stator is 23mm and its height is 6.5mm and that's why it's a 2306 plus motor. The next thing that I've done is to bench test the 3 kV versions of the RC in Smooks on my Moto Thrust stand. And then after replacing the 2207-2250 kV motors of the Hobbymate Flash Hybrid 5 inch racer with the 2580 kV version of the Smooks motors, I headed outdoors and gave them a try. After testing these motors, I can tell you that they are very powerful and also power demanding. I suggest for a 5 inch setup like that to go with the 2280 kV version and not with the 2580 kV version which I've tried, since in my opinion this motor was a little bit too powerful, especially when using it on 5S, and I think that the 2280 kV version would provide you with a better balance between power and efficiency. In terms of pricing, the cost of each motor is $22.5, so these motors are definitely not cheap, but I think that they are pretty much in par with other premium motors. I'm going to wrap up this video with the thrust test of the 3 kV versions of the Smokes motors and with the flight test of the 2580 kV motors. As always, I thank you for watching my video, I hope you enjoyed it and you find it useful. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comments section down below. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up if you like this video and consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the notifications bell if you're not already subscribed. See you on my next videos and goodbye.